In this example project, open the View Controller Interface file and declare a UI label object. Open the View Controller Implementation file. Inside the view did load method, create and initialize the label object with a frame. Define the text for the object using the set text method. Add the resultant label as subview to the view using the add subview method. Now if we run the application, we can see the new label created in the frame initialized. Let's change the frame of the object to make the label appear towards the center of the screen. We can change the background color of the label using the Set Background Color property. Similarly, Set Text Color method is used to change the text color of the label object. Now if we run the application, we can see the difference. Now let's see how to set the font for the label. This can be accomplished using the setFont method of the label object. The parameter given to this method is a UI font object. In the UI font object that we are using in this example, we are setting the font size as 24 font, strength as bold, and font type as system font. Now run the application to see the difference. We can set the tag property of the label object using the set tag method or as it's shown here. Now let's change the font type of the object from system font to marker felt with size 24. Run the application to see the change in font of the label in the resultant screen. Now we can set the text alignment to center using the set text alignment method. Run the application and we can see the text is aligned to the center of the label. Now increase the text length and run the application. As we can see, only the first part is visible and the remaining part outside the frame of the label is truncated. The property of the label which truncates the text of the label based on its frame is the line break mode. By default, the line break mode is tail truncation. We can change it to UI line break mode head truncation. Run the application and we can see that the text is truncated at the head part. Similarly, we can use the line break mode clip mode to clip the overflowing part of the text. Let's change the line break mode to default, i.e. tail truncation. Next, we are going to increase the height of the label. We can see that there is no change in the text truncation. Now increase the number of lines property of the label to the number of lines you want to have for the label text. 